funding in investors, well, that would take a whole nother series to do that. So I will tell you, uh, in my life experience, uh, getting the resources so that you can be the influencer was the better situation for me. I did both. I um, had had regular traditional bank debt financing. Then I also did the venture capital route. And the venture capital route was uh, interesting. Uh, it had some very great partners, but you lose a lot of control and creative influence. And so for me, um, this time around, as I go and build another empire, it will be um, continuing to get the financing so that I can keep the most uh, control over the model so that we can continue growing the excellence. Hiring the right team, it's the answer. It is the answer. You know, taking the, um, the long route when you are hiring is, is what I would absolutely recommend. You know, hire slow, fire fast for sure. Uh, and making sure that enough people on your team uh, meet this person and, and connect with this person. I would say anybody on your management team, this is a six week hiring process you know, in my mind, all the way from the phone screen to the, uh, you know, to the meeting and doing a working interview and bringing people in to watch how they are on the team because, because it takes so long to develop someone and to work talent into the culture that if you're not careful and you bring in someone that doesn't fit, it takes so much energy from team members to process through all that that it actually distracts you from the model. And, and it's almost better not to have someone doing the job than it is to have the wrong person there. Uh, you know, setting goals and strategy, obviously from a business perspective, right? You know, uh, the, the science of business is around managing and managing good means you have a good plan. You know, the art of business is leadership and so you don't want to lose one for the other and you, you can make all the best laid plans of mice and men, right? But you want to have the creativity and the flexibility to be able to change. Um, too often people get stuck on their strategic plan something great comes along and they don't have the dexterity, the flexibility on the team to be able to go after that because it's not in their plan this year and so they say no to it. Uh, you know, my style is ready, go, set. That's how I've done everything. You know, most people are ready, set, go. You know, it doesn't always work. It's messy. You know, growing a business is messy. People try to do it in this organized fashion and, and clean way and it never did. You know, um, for me, I went against what most business classes and uh, you know MBA teachers would ever think could actually happen. But when you talk to most mad scientists, entrepreneurs, they'll all tell you that same thing. They did everything that they shouldn't have, and they were able to to get it to that point. As we grew, yes, we needed a strategic plan. Yes, we needed the team aligned around that and clarity and accountability, no doubt. And taking those principles to inform the signature language that you want to create in the culture, huge, huge. So you've got to decide, what is our signature language? How do I build that into our daily practices to build the principles as you go? You build the goals, you build the accountability, and then you create the the dexterity and the flexibility that if something wonderful comes along, we're going to shift gears, so be prepared. And it, it's a cultural choice. Inspiring and empowering the team. Um, you know, it's one of the most important things that a leader does. And I mean from a, a managing up and a managing down and managing sideways, it, everybody should be responsible for doing that. Inspiring comes from acknowledging people's work. At the end of the day, most people want to know that they're doing a good job, right? What am I doing that's a good job? Um, a lot of leaders uh, say to people, nice work, good job, thanks so much, terrific. But they don't take the time to tell them why, and so people can't replicate that behavior because you don't go into detail with them. And what I suggest to people is, people can repeat that if you tell them specifically. So instead of saying, nice work, that was really great, good job on the project, you sit down with them for five minutes, you write them an email, you send them a card. You, when you 
created the alignment amongst the team because you met with them consistently, that really made a difference in our project. Thanks for doing that. Because what that person that's working with you realizes is, oh, that's what I did from my boss's perspective that helped us achieve our goals. Let me make sure that I'm doing that again. And so being very specific around feedback and acknowledgement is really important. And acknowledgement is, inspires people. It helps them feel heard and helps them feel seen. In, in our model, it was about partnerships. And some of the greatest opportunities we had were about advancing someone else's mission as well. And so when I think about today and when I think about the integrated model of, of a conscious business model, I think about partnerships because the answer to the many is in the one, and uh, every business model has a, an answer that they're trying to move forward in their mission. And if we come together, um, you know, WGBH it, it was one of our greatest partners. Um, you know, we have a partnership with Whole Foods right now. Their mission and our mission comes together. More people uh, are exposed to it. You know, there's this critical mass that gets hit when you, um, you know, come together and join forces. And I think that. You know, humanity is moving that way. You can see it in um, musicians. You can see it in business. You can see it in education. Um, the better we can do that, I think that that business model is is a great uh, piece to think about because people get stuck because they're in this silo con mindset and they're not sure where to go. And when you have partners, they help you understand and think through th those things. You know, f you know, your mission should be your, your heart's path. It's your, your, the pulse of who you are and what you're being. Again, you create your mission in your signature language. You question everything we're doing against that. Does this fit into our mission? Are we making sure that we're living our mission? Does this decision to fire this person support the mission of the company? Does this person, does this, this decision to hire this person fit into our mission? Everything gets questioned against it. That's how it flows through the entire culture so that people are living it and it's a living being. You know, I, I don't call uh, any of the organizations I work in companies because the word organization comes from the living word organism. And your organization is a living being and your mission statement is the representation of that living being. And the more you give life to it and the more that you talk about it and you bring life to it and, and reflect it in your decision making, the more it will live through all the people that you touch. You know, you, you think about the word innovation and it's, it, uh, the synonym is to recreate. And recreating, right, is something that we want to do again and again and again. And, uh, you know, nothing ever stays the same, right? The, the only constant in life is change. And so innovation is about creating the environment so that everybody feels empowered to create change and create movement in the organization. And so it's not just in product, it's in the way that we relate to each other. It's innovating the standard operating procedures. It's innovating the financial model, right? It's everything and everyone should be empowered to feel like, how do I bring my best to work? You know, you look at the research, right? Gallup talks about it, which is that um, reason people are discouraged at work is because they don't feel like that their gifts are being utilized. Innovation allows those gifts to be brought to the table. It's expected. It doesn't only allow it, right? If you're an innovative business model, you're expecting people to bring their best to the table and to bring their, their gifts and their ability to create change um, into the, the business model.